Hello there, everybody. It's Rogue Legend here. I know I don't worry. This you, you saw the dialogue in the previous episode. This is that log now from Dragon Quest XI. See, I still remember to put the title of the game in the video opening, like I always do. Just moving the mic a little closer to me. Hello, microphone. I forgot I have to close and open the game again in order to fix the resolution setting because after adjusting my uh, technical background, don't worry about it. Yes, Veronica's taking the compliment that Jade had paid to the town to herself because that's your character. Oh no, I'm putting my legs down. That's why the mic's acting up a little. That's why I'm talking now. Anyway, let's continue with the cutscene. Wait, you mean this is... It is indeed. Welcome to Arborea, home of the Keepers. The ones who watch over the world from beneath Yggdrasil's branches. And of Veronica and I. Oh, we're at their home. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was a little bit, well, dull. But it's good to be back. You thought it was dull? You are legitimately covered on all sides by mountains. Uh, I... Mm, I... Mm, I'm having trouble figuring out if I agree or disagree with that statement. The altar in the vision we saw appeared to be in the highest part of the first forest, which lies just beyond the village. Okay, but can we talk about that dragon we saw frozen and nice in the previous episode? I'd like to talk about that. But we should stop off in Arborea before we head up there. Everyone will be ever so pleased when they find out the Luminary has come to visit. Okay, but about that dragon. No, we're gonna ignore it? Alright. Cheapy! Hehe, <laughs> cheap. I saw you. You're mine! Mini Metal! I love Mini Metals. And I like the sheep. Oh, am I interrupting? Oh, great and glorious Yggdrasil, whose holy heart is the source of all life, and to whom all life returns, we thank you for this gift. Hi, cool, cool, um... I'm the Luminary. Hi. The withered leaves fall from your branches, and fresh buds spring forth in their place. One life ends, and another begins. Aw, she got a baby! Hi, hey, little guy! Oh, mighty Mother Yggdrasil, we pray that you will bless this new bud, this child of Arborea. May he grow into a leaf worthy of your benevolent boughs. Aww. It's a baptismal ceremony of sorts. We're getting blessings for the baby. Aww, <laughs> so cute. Ah. Well, well. Our beloved twins return. And how long have you two been loitering there, pray? Uh, we kind of just got here, so we haven't been long. I did see the little ceremony with babies, but that was like a private affair. Kind of sorry for crashing. Does it matter? No? Alright. Good day, Holy Father. It's ever so nice to see you again. And everybody else, of course. Everyone seems well. Toronto seems a little... uneasy about being home? I don't know. Uh-huh. As do you, my dear. But, Veronica, were you not taller when last we met? <laughs> he, tried, he tried to put it so gently. <laughs> what, what, what do I say? You're shrimp, you're tiny, uh, you need a footstool to reach the top shelf. Uh, you cannot have a top bunk because you would, if you fell from it, that'd be like falling from ten stories. Taller! You were taller last time I saw you! Yes, that's it. That's what I wanted to say. Don't worry, Holy Father, I got you. I understand exactly where you are. Well, uh, it's 
a long story? I would imagine so. But he has time, I have time, we all have time. Spill it. Actually, she kind of just should straight up just say what happened to her. Because maybe he can help? I mean, like... He is a holy father, and they exist literally beneath Yggdrasil itself. I don't know, I'm, I'm just throwing ideas out there that the game anyway, can't hear. that's not important right now. What is important is that we did what you told us to. We found the Luminary. Oh good, you found the Luminary. Now we can kill him! The Luminary. Can it really be? Look, my child. You were born, and we blessed you on the day the Luminary came to visit. Now Mommy can totally justify playing the lottery. Oh, what a blessed day this is! Not only do we welcome a new life into the village, but the Luminary also. Good job bringing him to the village, Veronica! Serana, now we can properly kill him with the Ritual Dagger! Wait, that wasn't what we were supposed to do! Too late! I am Benedictus, High Priest of Arborea, and I have waited my whole life for this moment. You know, the more he talks, the more my little idea that I threw out there seems like it might happen. Also, really? Really? Benedictus. Okay. Holy Father, on our travels we learned of a grave threat to this world. A being of pure evil who plots to throw all Erdria into turmoil. Of course, my dear, don't you realize that we're in a Dragon Quest game? It's always an evil being trying to disrupt our world. What? I, I mean, yes, evil being. Forget everything I said. Have a cookie. Mordigan has corrupted the minds of Heliodor's best and boldest, and is using his evil influence to turn the world against our friend here. I mean, like, yes and no, because, um, it's weird. By all rights, Heliodor should have turned a lot of places against me, but a lot of places have kind of, like, low-key welcomed me and not worried about it. And my wanted poster aren't up in any spots either, so... I mean... Granted, I shouldn't have to convince people of my innocence. But... I did, and now they... That's weird. Yes. But we think we may know how to defeat him. We have to go to the World Tree. A great power awaits us there. It's called the Plot Power-Up. There's an altar somewhere in the first forest. We think we can use the orbs to get up to Yggdrasil. Ah, uh, it is just as I dreamed it all those months ago. I saw you, my dears. You were climbing toward the Tree of Life, the Luminary beside you. Veronica, you were taller in this dream. <laughs> It was this vision that caused me to send you on your quest to seek him out. A vision surely granted unto me by mighty Yggdrasil herself. Oh, so the tree is female. I always did kind of wonder that, like, if the tree... What, what gender they assigned to the tree. But I thought the tree was kind of like just an entity, but I guess Yggdrasil now has an official... Um... Gender. It's female. Interesting. All is now clear. You were climbing toward the great altar of the first forest. And indeed, this is where you must go. The path to the forest lies beyond the cathedral, as of course you know. I will await you there. When you have all six sacred orbs in your possession, come to me, and I will show you the way. Oh good, so he just actually knows about the prophecy thing, because like... I was a little worried when he said the six orbs, and like, we didn't tell you that. But if you foresaw this, then you foresaw the orbs, which means you're legit. Mm. 
Actually, we might beat you up the stairs, old man. I know I spent a lot of time on that cutscene. Again, I it is nervousness. I, I'm testing out the new stuff and such. Also, we're gonna loot this place, so... That's gonna be the rest of the episode. Feel free to skip it if you're not a big fan of pseudo-filler episodes. Or me talking through cutscenes. Uh, Celestial Skin. With an E and an I. I'm not going to talk to you, lady, but I will pull out your book. Oh, it's a lore book. I don't think the people in this place would really have quests, but they do have pots to break. <laughs> He's shocked I broke the pot. I didn't do nothing! You saw nothing, old man! You hear me? Nothing! Oh, wait, not going there. Grove of blur blur blur. Well, aren't you the lucky one? Eh, I'm joking. He probably got that way because of her cooking, because it was so delicious. But he's a good husband. I don't even want to try to pronounce what that word was. Two books! The Birth of Aborea, Something Luminary, Sacrifice of Boreans. Yes, I see, indeed. Another, just a book book. No book books, give me recipe books. Ah, for, for my own sanity, I'm gonna drop the volume of the game. Uh, uh, two pegs. One peg. They're not, because I, I did hear myself in the, one of the past recordings, and I was like, I can just barely be heard over the game audio. I don't trust that these little thingies are here either. Like, that, that's now making me dubious of this place. Of all places. Any place that has them cannot be good. Excuse me, Granny, I have a place to loot. Oh, it's the lady and her husband and baby. The luminary himself should present speakers at my son's baptism. Oh, it's a little boy! Hi there, little guy. I was right, too! It was a baptism! Called it. Yeah, he's gonna be the next hero of the next game. Aw, that's nice. I hope nothing bad happens to this place. <laughs> and what is... The whole street of heroes. He really wants me to step inside of here. Hmm. Part of me is considering storing my money. But... I don't want to. I rarely lose a fight that I, ha I lose money for. Actually, no, you don't lose money for fights. For losing fights. So it's kinda a waste for me. Waste of time, that is. Not a waste waste, like... Oh, haha! I'll just go ahead and... Take your sainted Soma. Thank you. And everyone respects me in this place. I like it. Uh, ooh, I really want to buy this. Because I'm going to get a cool skill really soon, so I'm going to do it. So I did it. Oh, no wands for Serana. Did, show me a spear. Magic hat for Sylvanda might be nice. Wait, is that defense? Or is that just boost to magic? Oh, a silk bust here, which is weak for everyone. Okay. No, I didn't want them being stronger. I, I, I don't care. Ooh, heavy armor. Hello. That heavy armor is actually just a straight upgrade for me. What was I wearing before? The silver mail. That's right. I think I crafted. No, I bought that from a shop before I fought the... The witch, I believe. 
Ah, he's cute. Big three cards to Nazi buff us up to. Oh! That is a huge sculpting. Jesus. Um, but we're gonna call it the end for the episode here. I want to thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, you know what to do. I appreciate you if you do. And if you just watched the video, I appreciate you as well. And so next video, I just want to say, later. Hopefully this new recording stuff works out brilliantly. And if it does, hooray! Quality! Like a phone dropping on a, on a laptop.